So to start with, um, I'm going to be inviting um, Tri Tran um, to come up and, um, and start off the proceedings for the day. So I'll... Thank you, Angela, and uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, good morning, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll, I'll try my best uh, to uh, to speak up. Is that all right, Terry? Thank you. Um, yes, my name is Tree Tran, for, uh, um, current uh, A1 convener. Probably not for long. I think it's my last year. <laughs> um, so uh, lovely to be here, and uh, uh, thank you for listening to me in the next uh, ten boring minutes. Um, what I want? Uh, what is I want? Um, where it all started? Uh, we only deal with uh, rotating machines. Uh, after we push electrons uh, out of the machine, then it's up to A2 to manage it, and then it's up to Russell to manage the rest, and all the rest of you just just make sure it return to us. So. Uh, Thanks for that. Um, you know, better get this moving. Yeah, so we have um, as the study committee uh, purpose is to focus on development of new technologies um, of uh, all around uh, rotating machines, um, add values, and, and sharing and knowledge, um, synthesizing state of art practices, and developing the guidelines and recommendations. Sorry, so it's a bit of a mouthful. But um, we tried to squeeze a bit of work in uh, in a few uh, few words. Um, we have uh, four advisory groups: uh, turbo generators, which uh, are kind of the most of the power uh, generated in the last uh, umpty years, and we all started. But that's about to change. Um, then we have hydro generators, uh, basically just. The same thing, turning 90 degrees, turn a bit slower than we got the other one. Um, Non-conventional rotating machines, uh, the next advisory group, which is, as you all know, is in favor at the moment. Uh, a lot of uh, wind turbine uh, generators and, and so on. Um, we'll talk a bit more about that later on. Um, then we have uh, an advisory group on last motors, uh, of course, the, the, the other way around, where they consume a lot of electricity, push things around. Um, we have a lot of large motor in a power station, paper mills, and stuff like that. So we, we convert energy backward. Um, key areas of interest. Um, enhance or enhancement of the construction of a large turbo generator and hydro generators. After all these years, we run these things, we still never get them perfect. We still have a lot of problems, and that's, I think that's why I'm still here. Otherwise, I'll be out of job. Um, I keep saying to, to my daughters, you know, when we make something, it, it never be perfect. So, uh, and we still have to spend the rest of our life fixing it. She said, what are you talking about? And she's not a technical person. Um, so um, then we, uh, we, we, we do a fair bit of work on asset management, on, on Existing generators, um, uh, asset management. Uh, yeah, we got we got these machines. We need to manage them. And a lot of machines in Australia, uh, would you believe, are very very old. Probably as old as some of your transformers, uh, Matt. So um, we have some of the machines 50 years old and we're still running them. Uh, we, they're still working. Uh, still thinking along, which is good. Don't talk about efficiency, but that, okay, you know. Apart from that, I think it still work. Um, and we're monitoring and, and, and keep tech on, our, on, on, on them exactly the same way as I go to the doctor every year to take my blood test. Um, same as Matt do an old test on his transformers. So. Um, renewable generation, sorry, is, uh, is the next one. Um, we, we, we have these uh, wind turbines growing up everywhere. Um, they, again, they're much smaller, they come in large number, and they have their own problems. They're a lot simpler machines, uh, they're a lot cheaper, but the problem of, of, of cheaper product start from the beginning. 
uh, cost more to change them over than to put them up there, to, than, than to buy them in the first place. So it's a whole new mindset of uh, wind turbine generators, for example. And of course, in addition of that, we have uh, um, solar uh, generation and we have battery storage. So I'm not going to bore you with the details. Uh, last motors and high efficiency motors. To be honest, in the recent years, we have not seen a lot of focus on efficiency of motors, apart from those that are um, uh, utilized by the industry when, when electricity cost is important to them. But for the power stations, uh, we focus on reliability uh, rather than efficiency. Um, and therefore, the study committee sort of do look into those areas as well, uh, reliability, design aspects. Uh, and also economic aspects. Um, high efficiency rotating machines, uh, new materials, improving cooling, insulation generators and motors. As you know, the, the cooling, probably the cooling aspect of turbo generator probably reaches peak. People try to make uh, water cool rotors. Uh, great technology, wonderful idea, but it costs a lot and it's not reliable, so people have gone away from it. Therefore, the, the, current, the current generation, they make a lot more efficient machine, um, a lot more efficient cooling, higher rating of insulation system, so that they don't have to cool the road, the water, things like, things like that. So the state will become more efficient, the insulation system is better, the cooling um, circulation is a lot more efficient, and, and so on and so forth. So, the industry, what I'm saying is the industry is moving forward and revolve a lot over time. Even most of us won't see it. So I never see what Russell doing in his cable. He never see in my generators. But there's a lot of things going on. Is that right, Russell? Um, um, and of course, there are all the polymer nanotechnology and so on and so forth. Um, I, honestly, I don't get involved in the you know, nanotechnologies, but I know there's a lot of work going on in that area. Unfortunately, a lot of that is, is slowing down because, as far as, as far as I know, because of the research and development need funding, and the funding now drying out because of the big companies not there anymore. Preferential subject, we are fortunate and uh, at last, we, we got together after almost three years. So we managed to, uh, to meet in Paris again. Uh, it's a wonderful event. And apart from, from, from uh, catching up with one another, it, it, it's a world of knowledge in concentrating in one place, it's about three and a half thousand people this year. And for me, it was like, a little fish swim into the ocean and I see so much more as on how to absorb all of this in five days. Even possible, of course. Uh, but I made a lot of network with a lot of people and we follow up afterward. Um, the benefit is follow on for a long, long time, a uh, long, long way away. So um, we have a uh, preferential subject this year. We have three of them. And um, I will skip this slide and the next slide, not talking too much detail otherwise. Angela will knock at the bell and say three, 10 minutes up. Um, preferential subject one is a generation mix uh, of the future. Um, I'll skip a lot of text so, uh, because you can read a lot better than I can. I'm a pretty slow reader. But yeah, the renewable generation mix is, uh, is in favor of the moon. Uh, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of work happening there, a lot of machine coming up, of course. Saying that the technology is moving, in my opinion, slower than the number of machines churning out of factories because of the number of, of wind turbines um, putting up. And in the real reality, because of the way the market is, uh, we're facing a lot of problems much earlier in the piece. Uh, again, uh, that, that's good in a way because that's more work for, for us. We, we sort of look at, okay, how do we deal with this problem? rather than to, 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 to complain and run away, how do we make the machine cheaper, more efficient, and, and more reliable? Um, doesn't seem to work together very well, those aspects, but um, we do what we can. 
Um, the next uh, preference of subject is uh, as a management of electrical machines. Uh, sound like an old hat, but we still need it. We still need them for about until about 19, sorry, 2050 or something like that. I know some of the major power stations will be shut down in about 2038, uh, 35, uh, 43. So some of our, my company's uh, large power station is, is scheduled to be uh, shut down in uh, 2035. It's a bit sad. I'm probably out of job by then or retire, but life moves on. We have to make way for the renewables. Uh, however, we still need asset management strategy from now to then. The challenge here is as soon as you have an announcement or a, a prediction of when the power station shut down, the budget shrinks very quickly. The budget shrink quicker than the power station can run. So very difficult to do things with our money. Therefore, the asset management strategy needs to be changed very quickly to cope with, with that scenario. Um, motors and generators the same, and, and at the same time we're facing a challenge the manufacturers, the major manufacturers, moving to different product range. So they move into uh, uh, wind turbine generator, for example, so less a focus on the turbo generator, on a large um, uh, 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 hydro generator, for example. So we don't get the support that we needed. Um, so uh, the third preference of subjects on uh, Developing of uh, rotating machines and operation uh, experience. Um, very much uh, kind of touch on that. Uh, we work on the specification, manufacturing, maintenance, performance, efficiency, and so on. Um, now, quickly skip through uh, the uh, the papers we had from, uh, for Paris this year. Um, we had 24 paper uh, accepted um, this year. Uh, these are the list of the uh, titles of the papers. If I sit down here and talk about this paper, I think I'll be running, using all the time, and Russell would not be very happy with me. Um, he can't wait to talk to, to us. Um, so these are the, uh, the um, uh, titles of the uh, papers that we receive um, uh, uh, for Paris sessions. So that's a preference or, preference or subject, subject of uh, number two as a management electrical machine. Sorry for, I have very strong Vietnamese accents. So if you hear, um, uh, can't hear me, just put your hand up. Um, after 43 years here, yeah, I'm still struggling with this. Um, um, and the very last one, very last, uh, I can't, don't see where the power, oh, I don't know where the uh, pointer is. The very last dot point, the experience of, uh, 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 with CO2 free gener generator operations. I saw that paper in Paris, and I thought, wow, what do you mean by this? I thought they would cool the machine with CO2. Uh, not quite. They, when we regas the generators, uh, the, the turbo generators are hydrogen cool, of course. To make us safe, we need to purse the gas out or purse the oxygen out uh, when we regas the generator or when degas the generator. So we use a lot of CO2. So that paper was talking about the CO2 reduction, uh, CO2 usage uh, by using something else instead of CO2, which is very, very interesting. Uh, So yeah, I find that the, the whole industry moving in, in carbon-free um, um, environment, uh, carbon-free industry. So, and of course, all these papers are available. And uh, if you're interested to read further, uh, probably not. With most of you here are not uh, in uh, rotating machines. Um, how we go in time? Uh, the activities update for our study committee, uh, A1. Um, our convener is uh, Kevin Mayer from uh, Switzerland. Um, we have uh, currently 22 active working groups. Uh, three technical brochures uh, have been published uh, in red. Uh, TV 860, 879 and 878. 
is their title uh, on board. Um, two working group uh, work has been completed and uh, uh, the technical brochure to be published. Um, these technical brochures, some of them are quite long. Uh, for example, the A1 um, C4 66, uh, that's a, a joint uh, study, uh, working group. Uh, a lot of work being done there, and the technical process is quite big. I think it's about 180 pages or something like that. And being reviewed and review some of these technical approaches. Uh, it takes very long to write them. You, you all, you're all involved in writing some of these. It takes so long to write them. It takes so long to review them. And nobody wants to review them. And they want to take time and everybody busy. So it doesn't add up. But somehow, this whole committee managed to churn out a lot of, uh, of technical approaches, which is amazing. Um, we have nine working groups at final stage uh, and eight working groups in progress. Uh, five started and one about to be formed at the time in Paris. That's why it hasn't got numbers, A1 double X. Um, some of the activities that we did uh, at, the, uh, at the Paris, uh, we uh, Review all the status of the uh, working groups, uh, technical council meeting activities. Uh, we had uh, quite a lot of presentation of the working group uh, conveners. Um, study committee scope and strategic direction, uh, paper review, and we had a tutorial uh, in Paris session on the 31st of August. Um, it's about synchronous condenser. Synchronous condensers, again, is in, in, in favor at the moment. We got such a low uh, or, or next to zero inertia um, system, and we need these synchronous condensers to be installed. Not only that, we need them fast. The battery does some work. The battery does excellent job to a degree, but we, haven't got, we don't have enough batteries at the right time, and uh, the battery, <laughs> Uh, what do I say? We, we just installed a new battery in, in Adelaide and a fair bit of work to tune them up. Once they work perfectly, then they work perfectly. But to get them there is not as easy as sound because they, they have a mind of it their own. They, they're very, very fast. They're a lot faster than synchronous condensers. But electronics have problems. Uh, we need to treat them with care. And sometimes they don't work the way that we like them to work. Relevant to Australia, in my opinion, everything is relevant. Depends on where you are, depends on what you're doing, uh, and some of the stuff that we have done a long time ago is still relevant. So I left some of the old technical approaches there, some of the, the new one, and some of the you know, in progress. Um, even the, the very last point there was the working group A170. We all do this. We all do DDF measurements but we do a different part of our system, different part of machine or network or cables or whatever. It's a, a transformers, we all do TDF. But there's still some work to be done there. And I, I find it a bit fascinating when we start doing, looking at this in, in generators, DDF measurements. Uh, it's a lot more to be learned yet. So to me, it's all, it's all relevant. Um, a1 panel uh, in Australia, of course we were much smaller, we, uh, uh, we have 30 members and two guest experts. I, I kept all the experts, uh, I encouraged them to join the meeting as much as I can uh, because they, they have a lot of experience. And uh, I just picked up the key point that Angela said earlier. Uh, the biggest thing that we do in our panel is we sharing knowledge and, and experience. Uh, in fact, the members enjoy that section more than anything else. The rest is kind of boring to them. I do. I run through that very quickly and I spend the rest of our meeting on um, on uh, sharing experience and knowledge. Um, a technical uh, excellent technical working. It's we like working in the same company in a panel when we have a problem in one power station. We all know about it, and we we just try to chip in to help as much as we can. Looking ahead, um, we have a face-to-face -face panel meeting um, early next year, or a bit late to organize this year, um, 
and uh, we have a colloquium in, uh, in Japan uh, in September next year. Hopefully we don't have anything like COVID again. So it's held us up for a while. Thank you for listening to me. Any questions? <laughs>